Okay, so you've got your first guitar, and it looks fantastic. You're quite excited about it, and you, you just cannot wait to start learning and, and playing some songs, uh, entertaining yourself and, and your friends and family. There's one thing standing in the, way, in the way of that. Well, two things. The first thing is getting that guitar in tune, and the second thing is learning how to play it. The first thing, there's no avoiding it. If your guitar's not in tune, you could be playing all of the right notes but making all of the wrong sounds, uh, which is just going to hold you back with your learning, uh, get frustrating, and so many people give up because what they're getting fed back from the guitar isn't what they want to hear. Give yourself the best chance possible, get your guitar in tune, and it's never been easier. If you've got one of those, a smartphone, get on the App Store, or whatever, wherever you go to get your apps, and download a guitar tuner. There are some fantastic options out there, some of them available from the major, the leading manufacturers, Fender and Gibson, for example, uh, and they contain not just a guitar tuner, but also tips and tricks, uh, scales, chords that you can learn, all kinds of resources, and beats and drum beats that you can play along to as well. Um, fantastic, and free can't argue with free, not these days, can you? Fantastic resource. So that's the first option, and that's what I recommend you go to in the first instance. However, moving on from there, you may want to get yourself, and bear with me, because it's right behind the camera. I'm back. One of those tiny, weeny little clip-on tuner. You literally, it's got a little clip, alligator clip, clip it on the headstock, like, like that, angle it towards you, switch it on, play each note and it will tell you if you're sharp or you're flat or indeed what note is being played. Ever so cheap uh, on the internet, I mean talking two or three pounds uh, for one of those, brilliant. The next option that you've got is a dedicated guitar tuner, foot pedal, of which I've got one right here. This is one that I use mostly on stage. That's a, a Korg Pitch Black, absolutely fantastic pedal, built like a tank. Um, you can actually put strange tunings in there, so if you want to play dad, gad, da, D -A -D -G -A -D, uh, rather than standard tuning, you can have that uh, sorted out to, to give you that option, um, but a brilliant tuner. Um, recommend one of those, absolutely, and fantastic in low light situations, so if you do get to a stage where you're going to play some gigs in pubs and clubs and so on and so forth, you can see that in a gloomy room, no problem at all, very, very helpful. Also. When you do hit the foot switch to get tuning, it cuts the signal to the amp. So people aren't having to listen to you going twang, 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 to get into tune. You can do it uh, quite discreetly. Uh, hit the foot switch again, and you're back into the amp. Brilliant bit of kit. Other things that you can have. Um, there are lots of pedals around these days, multi-effects pedals, and even some other pedals. I've got a tiny one here. That's a looper pedal, which is a lot of fun. I'm going to cover this in another video. Um, but it's got a built-in tuner as well. Um, so I think it's a long press on that. Three seconds, it goes into the tuner. And it gives you a visual representation, again, of if you're sharp or if you're flat on which note you're playing. So it's like two for the price of one. There's other pedals that do that as well. So the Line 6 M5, which is a really good, um, not quite a multi-effects pedal, but like a Swiss Army knife pedal. That's got a built-in tuner. Going on from there, the next option, which is more serious guitarists, not necessarily pro guitarists, but serious guitarists, may have a rack with effects in there. That's a 19 inch rack um, digital tuner. So you plug your guitar in and you'll get a, an LED will sweep across and let you know how far sharp or flat you are. Great bit of kit, but overkill if you're a beginner. And this is what this is aimed at, um, is, is beginners. But a good bit of kit nonetheless. The other ways of tuning the guitar, now that we've got to that point, and I recommend you start off with an electric tuner, is that you're gonna to need to know how to tune a guitar by ear. If you know you're roughly in pitch, how are you gonna get the guitar in tune? You, you may have forgotten your tuner, the batteries may have run out. It's also a really, really good thing to develop your ear so that you can recognize, you can recognize the tones that the, the strings should be making so you can ensure, you, you know yourself how to tune a guitar without the aid of an electronic device. And I'm going to cover that in the next section. Be right back. 
Okay, that's a nicely tuned guitar. Just played the chord of E there. What I'm going to do now is completely disturb these strings and I'm going to randomly tune them down, up, all over the place. So we've got a lovely discordant sound there now when I play it. Okay, so you want to tune a guitar by ear um, or with a reference note. First thing you need to start off with is what are the strings called? They've all got names. Starting from the thickest, working our way down to the thinnest, the thickest string is bottom E or an E. The next one down is A. The next string down is D. The one after that is G. The one after that is B. And the one after that, again, is E. So E, A, D, G, B, E. That is, they're the names of uh, the guitar and standard tuning. That's what most of us use, certainly when you're learning. Um, okay, so we want, to, we want to tune this guitar up. Now, you would ordinarily need a reference note um, to that you can get from the internet, or if you had pitch pipes, or another guitar's in tune, or a song that you know that the key is in A or E, you can do that. If you don't, um, then just tune the bottom E to approximately there. Now to my ear, that is an E. From there, we can tune the rest of the guitar using the guitar itself, and we use the fifth, the fifth fret method. So all we do is we count the frets to the fifth fret. So on the bottom thickest string, go one, two, three, four, five. Press that down with your finger and play that note. That is the note of A, which should correspond with the string below it without that being fretted or played at all, which is slightly sharp. So we want those two notes to sound the same. So we always tune the higher string to the lower string. So I'm gonna play that note again. And you can hear, hopefully you can hear those coming into tune with one another. So now we have now tuned the A string. Repeat that process again. So on the fifth fret, but this time on the A string or the, or the second thickest string, goes to the fifth fret, play that note, play the string below it, which is the D string, open, so not, not fretting it at all. And here we have it's flat, which means it's too low. So we need to bring that up to around about there. That's now in tune. So now we can tune the next string, fifth fret again, it will change after this, by the way, but fifth fret again on the D string. The G string, which is below it, you're playing open, slightly flat, bring it up. To there. This is where it changes slightly. So for the next string that you're going to tune, which is on, you'll be fretting the D string, which is the fourth thickest one, on the fourth fret there. And you play the B string, which is the slightly thinner one below it, open there so this is sharp so that note needs to be brought the b string needs to be brought back down in line with the g which is there then for the final string to tune using the fifth fret method we're going to go back to the fifth fret on the b string which is the second thinnest one at the fifth fret hold it down then play the e string below it and bring it up into tune. And that should be in tune. And what we're going to do now is going to play the chord of E just to test it. Not perfectly in tune, but pretty close. But if you haven't got access to a tuner, uh, that's a method you, you can learn to use. It's also a great benefit to you as a player because you're gonna start tuning your own ear into what the instrument should sound like. And um, very important technique to learn, but do start off with the electric one because uh, to start off with, you just wanna get going as quickly and easily as possible. So there you go, various methods of tuning a guitar. I hope you found that informative and useful to know. It is essential, absolutely essential, that you tune your guitar properly, whichever method you use. Regardless if you play it a Glary or a Gibson, this will stand you in good stead for your entire guitar playing life. Um, it's been a pleasure doing this video. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next edition of the Rock and Roll Gear Show. Take care.